Mayor Bowser outlined some ambitious plans to get business and residents back to downtown, grow the middle class, she says, provide free before and after school care and have a carbon neutral city by 2025. So help me God. That was her request. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With her family by her side, Muriel Bowser takes the helm of her hometown for a historic third term. Now is the time to be bold and to set a course to win the tough fights ahead. Campaigning as an experienced leader, the 50 year old started her inaugural speech by listing some accomplishments over the last eight years. We drove down unemployment in Ward 7 and 8. We closed DC General and now we see our new Cedar Hill Regional Medical Center taking shape in Ward 8. But she's not resting on the rewards of the past. In this third term, Mayor Bowser promises to rebuild downtown, bringing businesses back and adding 75,000 residents. The mayor also pledges to address some of the economic and racial inequities that have priced out so many D.C. natives. In 2019, a study by the National Community Reinvestment Coalition found the district had the highest intensity of gentrification of any U.S. city, with more than 20,000 black residents displaced. She says D.C. will now be home for everybody. We made historic investments in affordable housing, over $1.4 billion in the Housing Production Trust Fund alone. We have a new target, 20,000 new black homeowners by 2030. Schools, statehood, sustainability, and safety are also among her top priorities. While police say the crime numbers are down, the community is still traumatized from losing far too many young people to both sides of the gun. We know, especially for our young people, that sometimes accountability is not punishment. It's a lifeline. And so sometimes the best way to save a child and change his trajectory is to require that they get the help they need. And to get the help they need immediately. That's why the mayor says she's sending out transition teams. They will work with communities in all eight wards, talk to residents, hear feedback from them on what works, what needs fixing in the city, and what are their goals for the next four years. A new attorney general, two new council members were also sworn in today, I should add. And those council members get back to work first thing tomorrow morning. So All right, certainly a lot to work through during this third term. Delia, thank you.